you're about to go into the heart of Africa, to a wild corner of the Kruger National Park, Singita Labombo, on a real life, real time African safari. Watch as the daily dramas unfold. From the smallest detail to the giants of the bush. Through the eyes of our cameramen, rangers and animal experts. Uncut, unplanned, unexpected. Join John Varty, big cat specialist and master guide. African explorer Andy Kutsia. And myself, Michaela Strachan. This is the real wild world. Caught on Safari Live. Who would believe that something can live in this mud pond here? But there is a catfish that lives here, known as the um, African sharp toothed catfish, Clarius garapinus. And it is so well adapted to living in an environment like this that it has lungs as well as gills. So it can take oxygen from this environment as long as it can get atmospheric oxygen or it can use the water to, to extract oxygen. I'm going to get in here and see if I can catch one. We'll just see what goes down. See the movement. There's hardly any any water here. I can feel him wriggling all around. I'm just trying to get my hand around one. There we go. Look at this. Look at its mouth, completely full of mud, but still managing to extract some oxygen. Now, inside of this flat head are lungs very similar to humans or to mammals inside there. So what they do is in an environment like this, they'll stick their heads above the water level and just scoop some air and then they'll be able to extract that oxygen. Otherwise, they have gills like, like normal fish, and this is the operculum, the gill cover there. Very, very adaptable. In the rainy season, with, if the rains come in the next few days, these catfish will survive. They'll swim either with the, with the water coming down, or if it's raining, they'll crawl across the ground and move to another adjoining pan. Have a look at how it crawls. I'll just leave it here and you'll see how it crawls. Look at it. Let it go again. Come on. Off you go. As long as it's moist, then that, that slime protecting the barbel will keep it from dehydrating. Also, barbel of, are omnivorous, so they can feed on algae, where they can filter feed, but they can also eat um, fish, so they're piscivorous. They eat insects, they eat anything that's available. Look at these barbules off the front of the mouth. Very, very sensitive. So they'll stick them into wood crevices or into the mud and feel where the insects are and then engulf them. Also, a very big mouth, so it's predatory as well. Very, very adaptable. And it's a food source mainly for crocodiles and for the other, uh, other piscivorous birds. Marabou, storks, kingfishers, uh, fish eagles, all kinds of things eat these... Uh, Barbel. Now look at them. And humans. Wonderful to eat as well. Okay, I'm going to put this catfish back where I took it from 
because this is about humans interfering as little as possible and let nature take its course. Survival of the fittest. That's true conservation.